In other news, groundwater pollution on Jeju Island is worsening, and chemical fertilizers and pesticides used in farming have been identified as the main causes. Efforts to prevent pollution are being carried out through research and the introduction of microbial farming methods, which are even gaining international popularity. Chong Eun-ju has the details. Water sprayed under halabong trees where a lot of fibrous roots grow attached to the main roots. This is the result of using microbial fertilizers. No matter how good something is, farmers cannot afford to use it if it's expensive. Farmers can sustainably use the GCM microbial farming method and achieve low input, sustainable agriculture without there being too much of a financial strain. If farmers continue to use this method, it can solve Jeju Island's groundwater pollution problem. As we enter a carbon neutral era, interest in environmentally friendly agriculture that does not use chemical fertilizers and pesticides is growing. Efforts to produce and consume safe agricultural products are as active on an international level as food security, which has gained importance due to disruptions in the supply chain. All over the world, uh, uh, governments are pushing to have farmers use the technology to be more focused with the fertilizer. Eco-friendly farming methods being developed and actively promoted in South Korea are also gaining popularity abroad. This is thanks to their proven effectiveness demonstrated in actual farming, such as medicinal marijuana farms in California. We've already exported to the USA and Vietnam and aim to export to Indonesia and the Philippines. We'll make efforts to expand this technology globally. This eco-friendly K farming method, also recognized at international conferences, is anticipated to elevate South Korea's position globally as an agriculturally advanced country. Jong Eun-ju, Arirang News.